Good morning guys, welcome to A Day in My Life with Chronic Illness. So I filmed this video like three times and each time something comes up and I end up deleting the video. So today I am going to film a day in my life and just show bits and pieces of my day um, to kind of give you guys an idea of what it's like to be me. So I didn't film when I first woke up just because I never feel good in the mornings like when I first wake up and so I didn't show that but when I first wake up I have to put all of my joints back into place, like whatever's out. So both my hips, my ankles, my elbows, then like occasionally ribs or wrists or fingers or toes even. Like it just, it varies. But today it was my hips, my left knee, both my ankles and both my elbows. And of course the shoulder, but that's always, <laughs> that's always out. So that's pretty much what I didn't film. And then I got ready for the day, but I haven't really done any of my medical things. So I will show you guys that. But first we need to feed the puppy. Okay, let's get you some food. All right, Maisie's been fed. Now I'm going to take my medications. Most of my meds are liquid, but some of my medications are still in pill form because they can't be made into liquid, um, or at least not like a sugar-free version. Well, I just dislocated my hip. <laughs> um, so I guess you guys will get to see a hip dislocation after all. I, as I said, I didn't film this morning when I put them back into place just because I wasn't feeling well this morning. And so I waited until I was like out of bed to film, but I just dislocated my hip. So, so I'm going to fix my hip and give my medicines through my GJ tube. All right, let's fix this hip first though. Unfortunately, that happens to me like five times a day. Done. Okay, so now I'm going to change the gauze around my stoma and put on the medicine that I put around my stoma. I currently have granulation tissue, but you have to put medicine on it because it'll bleed and like it can be painful. Typically when I get um, granulation tissue, it does hurt, but I it really doesn't hurt me too bad this time. So at least that's good. So first I'm gonna take my sterile water. I took my gauze off last night and I forgot to put another one on. But this is to be life. It's crusty and <laughs> messy. But it saves my life, so I it's a small price to pay. 
this piece that you can see right there, that is not dirt. That is actually the granulation tissue. I'm not going to show you guys this, but I'll post, I'll put a picture in here of what my granulation tissue looks like, but that's what we're, you're seeing right there, that dark spot. So this is the cream that I use for the granulation tissue, and it helps a lot. So now I'll just take this, put it all around my stoma, get it all around the granulation tissue. piece of gauze I put a little extra just over the granulation tissue because some of it kind of gets wiped off when you put the gauze on There you go, that's all the stuff I do with my feeding tube in the morning. With the exception of filling up my feed bag, which I already did this morning. So when I fill up my feed bag, I just put in two of these bottles, um, and I use the Kate Farms Core Essentials formula. I just use like the standard, um, the standard formula. I do that in the morning and at night. And it just stays right in this backpack. Okay, so the last thing that I have to do in the morning is flush my port. So whenever my port is accessed, which is Tuesday through Friday, I have to flush it in the morning and at bed to make sure that the line stays working. Okay guys, so that is my morning medical routine. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get started on my school. I am homeschooled, so I do all of my school right from my bed. And I'll see you guys in a little bit because I will be heading off to a doctor's appointment and I'll bring you guys with me. We just got done at the audiologist and my hearing is perfectly fine, so that's good. Um, I didn't... Perfectly perfect. Perfectly perfect. Is that what you said? Oh, she said it was perfect. Oh. Um, I didn't end up setting up my infusion before we left, so I'm gonna go home and do that now. So we stopped to pick up some food for my dad. I got a diet soda because I'm allergic to sugar. Sometimes it's hard to tell whether it's actually a diet soda or not. Sometimes it gets mixed up and you'll end up with a regular soda. So a good way to tell is you can actually use your blood sugar meter to test the soda. And if it is diet, it'll read low. Yep, it's diet. So that's a good tip for any of you guys who are allergic to sugar or have to be careful of sugar and need to make sure that a diet drink is actually diet. Use your blood sugar meter. So now that we're home, I'm going to actually hook up my infusion. I just ran out of time before we had to leave. pretty often on infusion days. So I'll let this run for a while and that should get better. But we're just gonna rest for a little while, right? Yeah. <laughs> just burped in my face. <laughs> Thanks for that. <laughs> I still love you though, you still love you. So I'm just gonna rest for a little while. I 
I'm done with statistics, so now I just have to do some history and I'm done with school for the week. I hate opening these. Opening these. <laughs> Apparently that diet soda made me so nauseous. I haven't even drinking much of it at all, but so friend to the rescue. So close. I'm almost done for the week. My infusion's done, so I'm going to unhook and I get to deaccess my port because it's Friday and this is my last infusion of the week. Um, I actually get accessed on Monday of next week rather than Tuesday, so I'll be accessed for five days rather than four um, because I have my growth hormone stimulation test, which I will be vlogging. It's like a five or six hour procedure or something like that. Not procedure. Test. I don't know. Um, so I will be vlogging that and I also will be making a video explaining my growth disorder and why I'm having this test done. So, because I also, in the videos that I've just posted, I talked a little bit about my growth disorder, and so I, a lot of people now want to hear the whole story, so I'll be making that video too. It is time to deaccess my port. And I finished school for the week. I don't always finish school in a week, so whenever I do, I feel very accomplished. has a little safety mechanism so that it covers the needle and you can't like poke yourself so this goes in the sharps container but I just throw the rest away I am actually gonna go take a bath right now and now that my port is deaccessed I'm gonna go do that and then I'm probably gonna change it into some comfy PJs all right guys so I've just been laying in bed watching Netflix and YouTube for the past like two hours um, and now I'm gonna get ready for bed. I did change into some pajamas after my bath, which was super nice. My hamsters are being really funny. <laughs> I'm gonna do my nighttime stuff and go to bed. I'm gonna fill up that feed bag. So this medicine, I hope. I take to help me sleep and it has to be dissolved in water I'm gonna do that and then this medicine my sleeping meds I'm gonna take through my J tube so that they absorb but my reflux medication which also happens to be a mast cell medication um, that has to go through my G-tube. So yeah. So my tube is currently broken. I know. <laughs> I'm so frustrated. Like literally, I've had so many tube issues. Okay, so basically, the tip of one of these broke off and got lodged in here. And I can't do anything to get it out. So this white piece is the only one that fits in because now if you try to put another one in it won't fit because something's already stuck in there so I have to use the piece that broke off in there because it's like a puzzle piece like it now it fits together so I have it taped on and now anytime I want to do anything with my tube I have to use like the end fit syringes so it has to screw on um, because basically this white piece has to stay in there, otherwise my tube is not functional. Which is a very bad thing for somebody who's dependent on a tube. And I really don't want to have to have it replaced. So for now, I'm making do... 
take off the white tip and screw this. Screw this on. Then I can get my nose in. So yeah. <laughs> I just figured out what my tubes. If you guys go watch my 12 things that only people with feeding tubes understand, one of the very first ones is you is me like you can't get your extension off. That is exactly how this happened. <laughs> Ugh, and now it's leaking. Ah, now it's spelling out. Goodness, is this like a remake of my feeding tube video or what? I got it everywhere. Oh well. I'm gonna go wash my hands, but I'm gonna say goodnight to you guys. This is a pretty accurate representation of my day. Um, and a lot of it's been in bed or doing school or doing nothing or sleeping. So let me know if you guys like this video and if you do, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!